All right, welcome to my channel and to this video. Happy you're with me. Hopefully we got a good one here for you today. We're going to be taking on some wasps. It is summertime and they are out in full force trying to make nests all up in my property. I'm not having it. So I've got a pretty obvious way and a do-it-yourself home remedy that we're going to be showing you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first method uh, results in this. It's the less humane. We've got a dead wasp, and we're going to be using some good old-fashioned wasps spray. You're going to want to make sure you have long sleeve shirts on, eyewear, protective gear, be, uh, especially if it's a uh, windy or semi-windy day. Uh, optimal conditions are wind-free. You want it to be as still as possible because this stuff will blow, and you don't want to blow back on you. It's kind of like peeing in the wind, right? Uh, not a good idea. So give the can a good old shake and take aim you can see i've got two nests up here and they are active you got kind of one shot before they fly all up in your business so look out one shot you can see it pretty much uh kills them on the spot they might fly off a little bit more we'll see that in a second uh but this is definitely an effective way the toxins in this wasp spray basically i mean who knows what's going on but some neurotoxicity here uh, pretty much shuts down their their systems so uh, not my favorite but it is pretty effective especially if you've got several and if you do have more than one on each nest you might want to spray and then kind of take cover right gird the loins so to speak all right just doing some more visual infection i don't know much about these wasps but i do know they like hot conditions on a hot clear day uh, they are all over the place uh, and so you're going to want to look at kind of the undersides uh, back deck rails uh, are really common they love my back deck right under the su the nice warm sun um, but in obviously the underside part of the rail um, and if you, if you don't see any, you can kind of pick them off, but be careful. It's kind of like mother bear. If you are caught with that in hand, she or he, uh, is not going to be pleased with you. So I'm picking these two off. I'm not sure. Oh, yep. They're active. You can see just a few minutes later, a uh, wasp comes back and is pretty peeved, pretty ticked off at me. So I'm going to keep my distance and I would have the option of just ignoring him and letting him move on or I can take them down. We're gonna take them down. Sorry. For all you viewers out there who don't prefer this way, but like I said, it is pretty effective immediate results. Again, make sure you're not downwind. You can feel it, right? Dro pick up a piece of grass, a blade of grass, and kind of drop it, see which way the wind is blowing before you spray. You don't want the stuff getting in your eyes. So again, goggles, long sleeve shirt. So it doesn't, if it does blow back on you, it won't uh, hit your skin or that'll be minimized. Checking the underside of my deck here for more. Looks like there's one up there in the corner. So let's head on up. Other than that, we're pretty, pretty clear. And that's the basic concept, right? If you do this every once in a while, your wasp problem will disappear now uh wasps hate uh peppermint oil i mean plenty of insects do so the problem with just putting peppermint oil uh, mixing it with water is that uh over time that deteriorates and the peppermint oil basically is ineffective so i'm going to add it with a little bit of uh grease the grease will give it a little bit more bonding it's not subject to rain meaning even though it might rain it's, it's not going to wash all the peppermint oil away it's going to mix in with this grease and i'll put links down below for this stuff if you're interested uh peppermint bottle peppermint oil bottle and then some just some generic grease uh and this stuff won't freeze uh, if it gets hot it won't go it'll basically kind of go away and you're going to take a brush or in my case i just have for the purposes of this video just a little piece of cardboard and i'll show you how you can kind of apply it if you've got an old sp uh, foam brush or just a cheap brush you can kind of brush it on the underside keep in mind that if you apply this and then want to paint over it later it's not going to work very well you have to scrub this off first because you can't paint over grease right um but i'm not painting or planning on painting the underside of this cedar deck so i'm happy just applying it like this and the idea is that peppermint oil is infused with the grease and again with rain and wash uh you know freeze hot cold cycles it's not gonna it's gonna stay on there longer is the idea 
behind this. And this is the first time I've tried this, so I'll post subsequent videos if this does uh, not work or if I come up with a different solution. But uh, in theory, it should work pretty well, I think. You could just apply regular peppermint oil, but like I said, after a couple of days, it might uh, come off or after a good rain, it might uh, be ineffective. So hopefully this will keep it on there a little bit longer, that grease um, dilution, so to speak. And I just got a kind of a soft bristle brush and I'm going to wash away, kind of scrub away those uh, remaining wasp nests and apply a little bit. They picked this spot for a reason, so I'm going to uh, try to beat them to the punch and apply this DIY all natural. Well, is grease natural? Probably not. So I can't call it all natural, but the, this DIY remedy uh, to the spots that they had already selected. Hopefully that will prevent them from coming back into the area. That's the idea. So hopefully this video has helped you. Click that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself solutions. Thanks.